So today we're going to be putting some mop and glow on some deer heads I finished up. Basically it's just the mop and glow keeps, uh, will help seal the bone, keeps all the dust out of it. Uh, so if you hang it up in your house, you don't have to come behind you. I've had deer heads I've hung up before I started using mop and glow and the dust will settle on the skull and actually get into the pores of the bone and there's no way to get it out. And so if you put mop, mop and glow on there, it'll seal all those pores, give it a fresh lemony scent. And then if you have dust get on it, you can come back with just a wet rag and wipe it off. Uh, and it's not really, it does, it's not real shiny, so it doesn't give your skull a real, real shiny look to it, like it's been clear coated. It'll still have a real natural uh, matte finish, but it'll be a little bit of a protective layer. And so, hopefully you can, you can pick up something that I do that might help you uh, if you do skulls. Uh, if you're watching the video, and you haven't already liked like the video it helps YouTube see that folks are like, like watching my videos whether they're watching them or not if they are watching them, like the video and subscribe uh, we do a little bit of everything on this channel anywhere from camping to cleaning skulls to uh, any type of farm work uh, just try to bring some content folks might enjoy watching so typically I use just the cups any type of any type of little small plastic cup that you can pour a little bit in. I got three skulls to do, so I'll use a little bit today. And I just use this. Uh, it's got a good fresh lemon scent, it says. Use a cheap. Uh, I just use a cheap paintbrush from Harbor Freight. Just something. And you see how white that bone is. Right now it's dry and it's real porous. So any, if uh, any type of dirt, uh, dust, it'll settle in that bone. And once that dust gets in those pores, uh, it's hard to get out. So this mop and glow will seal the bone. It will not discolor it. Give it a good fresh scent. I just brush it on real liberal and let it dry and drip into all the little cracks and crevices. Usually I use a, a larger brush, but I picked this one up the other day because I knew I needed one that was only like 50 cents or something. But I think I like this smaller brush better just because I can put it inside the nose or inside the eye sockets a lot easier. With the bigger brushes, when you do that, the bristles flare up and they're only good for about one use after that. And when, we get done, when you get done with this, this thing will smell like a fresh, clean floor. It won't stink at all. It'll have a little bit of a shine, not like a clear coat shine, but it'll have a little bit of a shine. If you want it to be a little bit, a little bit shinier, you can put two coats on. I don't put any on the horns, just because there's no need. And if you put if you, and if you put this on the horns, the, the horns will have a a lot shinier appearance. They won't they won't look as natural. The bone isn't isn't the case. So we got it coated, and we'll just hang it up, let it dry. bottle of mop and glow usually lasts me uh, a couple seasons of doing skulls so if you're just going to do one or two skulls it's it may or may not be I think a bottle like that is I don't know 17 18 dollars <laughs>
they get done, I just let them hang them up and let them dry. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe that was one of my little tips and tricks I'll share with you guys. Share some more along the way as I get time to film them. Uh, maybe just do them in short clips instead of trying to compile it all into one big video how to clean a deer head and start to finish. Uh, so like this video, share it, comment, uh, subscribe. If you got any questions, uh, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Uh, and thanks for watching.